Good morning, everybody. Happy Sunday. Uh, welcome back to the Gary Schumacher Exposes False Profits program. I have on here a little tidbit before I run off the church this morning. It is uh, Mark Taylor on the Chris McDonald Show, the uh, Mac Files. I promise I'd bring you guys that. And he also has a guest on the name of uh, Edmund Gray. I'm not real familiar with what he is. Um, so the reason why I chose this clip this morning is because the complete hypocrisy behind these two men is just astonishing to me. Um, they uh, get on this program here and they decided that after all the years of Chris McDonald having Amanda Grace on his show, he's now decided that uh, he's going to start bashing her and uh, that is the that is the uh, part for the course for the uh, prosperity gospel. Eventually, if they don't they, they don't see eye to eye on something, they do start to eat their own. Um, so now, um, after years of of Amanda Grace going on his program, helping him build his YouTube channel, um, he is now going to start bashing her, uh, saying that uh, she uses a thing called. Um, Let's see here. It's called uh, channel writing, okay, to get her prophecies. And if you've ever watched the Amanda Grace program, you'll see that she goes into these trances and, you know, she says and she doesn't remember anything. And then she, boom, she has written out on her computer what the, the Lord uh, gave her, which I'm not condoning that. I don't think it's true, okay. But when Amanda Grace was on his show, all those times she never tried to hide the fact and that's how she got in bull he loved her for it believed everything she said but now i think they've had some type of falling out over the been a while since she's been on his program and uh now uh, i guess the gloves are off so i guess i chris mcdonald is mean he's very mean and it all, it's also very hysterical how he never calls out his buddy here mark taylor uh, for any of his, you know, multiple, multiple false prophecies. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to play a little bit of this clip. Let me get into this with you, and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. It's, it starts out with uh, this uh, uh, Edmund Gray talking about this, uh, this uh, channel writing. Grammatic writing is basically used in the occult. Oh, sorry about that. They use it to make direct contact with real live demonic and familiar spirits. And we know that these witchy poos and sorcerers are using familiar spirits to prophesy. It's almost like a Ouija board, you know? Prophesy. I love that. Thank you, Mr. Edmund Gray, for giving me my favorite new word. And that's why I'm going to name this uh, video. Uh, Mark Taylor and Chris McDonald, Profa Liars. Thank you, sir. With the pen, where you allow demons to spell out exactly what it wants to tell you. And I saw some things in the Bible that contradicts that. It's basically writing without conscious thought or deliberation. But doesn't the Bible tell us in 2 Timothy 3.16 that all scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction, and in, in, in righteousness. The thing you have to realize is that when they were writing, they weren't writing unconsciously. They didn't know they wasn't. They didn't know what they were writing. And I saw some more scripture. Galatians six eleven says, "This is what Paul says. You see how large a letter I have written unto you with mine own hand." Doesn't sound like he's having something take over his hand. And then it's Second Thessalonians three seventeen again, the salutation of Paul with mine own hand which is the token in every epistle, so I write. The writers of the Bible, they used their minds. They were completely engaged. They had to think. They had to study. They had to renew their mind. They didn't drift off into unconsciousness and let something take over for them. Even the word meditate. People have this whole thing called meditate where it's like the yoga where they chant and they clear their mind. But the Bible says in Joshua 1.8 to meditate on something, the word of God. We don't clear our mind. We meditate on the word of God. That's basically what it is. It's not supposed to depart out of our mouth. And these writers in the Bible that God used, the Holy Spirit used, were opposed to freeing the mind and letting something or someone else take over. Okay, so that's uh, Edmund, uh, Edmund Gray. 
is trying to explain to you, explain to all of us what this uh, channel writing is all about. So uh, yeah, they they're on this for a while. So I uh, I skip ahead here to where he gets into Amanda Grace, right around uh, let's see, right around the seven ten mark here. So I'm going to start this again, and be prepared, be prepared for the hypocrisy of this. Uh, again, if the Holy Spirit is in you, then that means that the prophetic word is in you. Yes, Lord. You don't have to channel a spirit to get it because it resides in you. That's the difference, period. Jesus Christ, the spirit of prophecy, is in you, the Holy Spirit. So it, it is already there waiting to come out. I don't have to channel something to get it to come out or have something take over because I am the temple of the Holy Spirit, just like you are the temple of the Holy Spirit. Right. Am I correct in saying that? No, you're perfectly. That's exactly my point. And then the other question goes to this. How many prophetic words are going out right now that are doing this very thing? This individual was brave enough to admit it. And, I mean, they didn't hide it. They said, this is exactly how I get my words. Now, when he says this individual, he's referring to Amanda Grace. He won't even use her by name anymore. Okay? This is how, you know what a hypocrite he's become that he refuses to use her by name but he sure loved her when she'd come on his show all the time and, and, and he, he's been on lately with some things and they're out there running you know scurrying like rats like they always do when the heat gets on but this individual didn't hide it and we got i want to play a video and i want to make it clear we're not taking a personal shot at this individual but this is a practice he's not you're not taking any sh personal shots at Amanda Grace, Chris. Really? You're not taking any personal shots? You won't even use her name, okay? But you'll splash her face all over your channel and, and mock her suddenly after all these years. You know, during the uh, 2020 election, he had her, he had an election coverage that he hosted. Mark Gray, excuse me, Mark Taylor, him, Amanda Grace amongst other false prophets, jamborees. So they did like a, a CNN, Fox News coverage of the, you know, the, the 2020 of, uh, uh, prophetic, you know, word uh, of, 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 yeah, I'm sorry, I'm babbling, of uh, Donald Trump being reelected. And of course that all blew up in their face. But yeah, they were all thick as thieves back in 2020. And now look what's happened. But I digress that is going on in the prophetic community of America. And you need to know the difference, folks, because if they're trying to tell you stuff that's claiming it's from God and they're getting this from automatic writing, I may not be right about a lot of things. I'm going to look into this camera. I'm going to tell you tonight on Monday Night Spiritual Smackdown is not a God if it's coming from that source. Are we, are, fellas, we in agreement on that one, at least? 100%. Okay. Cool. And it it is amazing that he calls his show here with Mark Taylor normally the Monday night spiritual smackdown you know like the WWE okay this these prophets so called prophets are as fake as the WWE as a matter of fact the WWE has better actors in my opinion play this video real quick Last night at about 1 a.m., I could not sleep. When I tell you my spirit was stirring, I could feel the activity in the spirit, the realm of the spirit. It was so tense last night. It's getting so tense, guys, in the realm of the spirit. And it almost felt like the room was getting darker. And I prayed in the spirit, and this word came forth. And I will tell you, this word is a powerhouse word. It is. I could not believe what was in it when I went back to it. But I'm that heavy under the anointing. I don't remember what I'm prophesying from the Lord. So when I went back and looked, I went, oh, my goodness. During this word, after I transcribed, I have to tell you, I didn't remember 90% of it because I was under the anointing of the Lord. So I went back to it, and my jaw was kind of like, oh, my gosh, I have to release this. But, you know, I was kind of like, and I, you know, you get that way. You come back into your flesh and you're like, oh my gosh, I have to say this now. It is a sobering word indeed. It is powerful. It is, 
I couldn't believe what was in it. When I went back to it, I didn't remember any of this. So the only word I remembered was binary. So mostly 90 to 95% I don't remember and I have to go back to it. Okay, panel, let me ask you this. Um, in, this in that vein, Doctor and Mark, Mark, you've you've received prophetic words from God. She, this person says literally, I didn't remember ninety percent of what I wrote. Is that a prophetic unction from the heavens? I don't believe it is. No, no, I'm absolutely not. Look, the fact that that she's sitting there, and again, this is nothing personal, but the fact that she's sitting there saying that I felt myself come back into my flesh. What hypocrites! What hypocrites! They don't even want you to know that they were thick as thieves with this woman just a few years ago back when uh, everybody all these false prophets were calling trump to win the 2020 election now suddenly they've seen the light that uh she she doesn't uh, she doesn't have a prophetic gift but this is hypocrisy at its finest out of prophetic word look we're not talking about that you're having a vision or something like that where you feel your spirit coming back into your body. We're talking about handwriting a word here. Now look, I'll, I'll go as far as to say this. Automatic writing doesn't just happen just with writing in my opinion. This is just my opinion, okay, Mark Taylor's opinion. I see prophets and pastors grab a microphone and they're doing the same thing with a microphone where they're channeling a spirit speaking in the name of the Lord, but they're channeling through a demonic spirit, a familiar spirit. So the difference is, when you are verbally giving a prophetic word versus writing. So no, absolutely not. Because again, I have a book full of prophecies that God has given me. Holy Spirit is in me. The word is already in me. I simply put pen to paper and I remember every single thing that I write. So in other words, according to Mark Taylor, the false prophet here, he's doing it right. Amanda's doing it wrong, okay? So yeah, there's a there's a rhyme and reason behind all this. But years ago, Amanda was doing it right. He was doing it right. Um, all the rest of these, uh, you know, false prophets that Chris McDonald would have on the show, they were all doing it right while he was, you know, accumulating those subscribers to his channel. And now that his channel's all built up. Now the boys club comes together and it's going to tear Amanda Grace apart. Now listen, I am not going to sit here and say that Amanda Grace is a prophet of God. She is not. I don't believe in any of these YouTube prophets. I think they're all phony baloney. But I just wanted to point out the hypocrisy that this man um, has done uh, to the body of Christ. Let me switch me back over here and get these bozos off my screen. So yeah, um, that's where we're at with that. Um, I also wanted to put up a couple of things here um, to point out if I can find it here and we're going to move back over here okay now these are just some of my uh, favorite Bible verses when it comes to false prophecy of course there is Matthew 24 24 if I can highlight it I'm having problems this morning for false Christs and false prophets will arise and perform great signs and wonders so as to lead astray, if possible, the very elect. Here's one for you. Okay, This is true scripture. This is not, um, you know, phony baloney prophecy. You want to know real prophecy? Read your Bible. It's chocked full of it. You don't need these people. Okay? They're prophets for profit. Bottom line. Okay, so we also have 1 John 4 1. Beloved, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits to see whether they are from God, for many false prophets have gone out into the world. And that's just of many verses from the Bible that God has tried to warn us about, especially in these times. Okay, so I've got to get off the church here. God bless you all. I want to end in a prayer this morning. So I'm going to bow my head. And I'm going to pray in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Dear Heavenly Father in heaven, I pray that you, I pray for these false prophets that 
you open their eyes and have them shut down these ministries and shut down these YouTube channels and stop all this nonsense and that the followers of these people open their Bibles and start reading the true doctrine. That's why I'm here, Lord. That's why I want to work for you and I want to do this. I feel a calling for it and I know I'm not the best studied Christian in the world, but I'm working on that and I hope to get better. And thank you for my family. Thank you for my friends. And thank you for the healing that I got this week with my knee surgery. I'm already up walking around. It's because of your healing hands. And with that, Lord, I pray in Jesus' name for his sake. Amen. Okay, folks, that'll do it today. Thank you for tuning in to Gary Schumacher Exposes False Prophets. And uh, we'll be seeing you around. Take care. Don't forget, like and subscribe. We need that algorithm. <laughs> I just love that word, algorithm. God bless.